So let's continue with our class. All right, so we are looking at basic trigonometric identities. Now we know from the previous class that our sine theta is going to be b upon a, our cos theta is going to be c upon a, and then our tan theta is going to be b upon c, referring to this right angle triangle. Our sine is opposite over hypotenuse, our cos is adjacent over our hypotenuse, and then our tan is opposite over adjacent. All right, but we also know from the Pythagoras theory that the longer side, which is a squared, is equal to b squared plus c squared. We know this. All right, if I decide to divide through this with a squared, let's see what we're going to get. I divide here with a squared, and divide here with a squared, and divide here with a squared. Let's see what I'm going to get. a squared goes into a squared 1. So I am going to get, I'm going to get b squared upon a squared plus c squared upon a squared to be equal to 1. Okay, it's equal to 1. Right, now let's look at something. We can write this b squared upon a squared as b upon a the whole squared plus c upon a the whole squared to be equal to 1. By then, it's getting interesting. We are going to use this to prove one basic trick identities. And I think if you are following me very well, you know where we are heading towards. All right, now we have b over a, but we know that sine theta is also equal to b over a, right? So instead of writing b over a, we can write here as sine theta. Let's bring our squared plus. Now let's look at something. c over a is equal to what? Cos theta. So instead of writing c over a here, I can write cos theta. It's equal to 1. Now, if I am going to expand this, then I'm going to get sine squared theta plus cos squared theta to be equal to 1. This is one of the trigonometric identities. And then we use this right angle triangle to prove these identities. Therefore, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. This is how we proved it. So now we know sine theta to be b over a, cos theta to be c over a, sine theta to be b over c, and then sine squared theta plus cos squared theta to be equal to 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 identities. We are going to use these 4 identities to prove other identities as well.